Welcome to the winter wonderland of the Lake District. We parked off uh, the Winlatter Pass. Uh, it's looking down across Skiddo, which was clear a moment ago, but it's full of cloud now. There's a uh, Bass and Fuite Lake, which is only lake in the Lake District. So we're going to head up the Winlatter Forest track to get some uh, nice views, hopefully. And we've both got First time I've worn these. Catula micro spikes. So hopefully they'll do the job they don't have a proper cramp on. And they seem to be doing alright. We're in the winter wonderland of the Lake District. Lovely. I've been to the lake so many times before in the past with family holidays and just general walks but never really ventured out in the winter in these snowy conditions mainly because I didn't have the equipment or the experience but now I've, I feel that I've fairly experienced in the fells and generally know how to navigate myself and know which equipment to take and etc then I thought right we'll venture out we'll do a wild camp is it it's not actually snowing it that's just the flakes coming off the trees but the views are just glorious I mean it's just winter at its best probably it's one side of the lake district that I've not witnessed before so I'm loving it at the moment right we're not far from where we're deciding to camp and it's starting to snow so we've got jackets back on cameras away um, obviously this camera's out now, but I'll put it away in a minute. So it's probably about another hour's walk and then we can hopefully get to the, get the tents pitched and enjoy the views from wherever we decide to camp. Uh, we'll come past Go White Pit Wind Latter and we're now outside again through the forest and it's just proper snow now. So we're going to head up a bit. It's, it's too almost two o'clock so maybe another half an hour 45 minutes walking then we have to get the tents up before it gets too dark well, we're on oh well, all but on Ulster Hill it's somewhere beyond there it's just a white out and it's like it's knee deep near enough. It's <laughs> now we're trying to find us a place to pitch the tent. This looks good. No. We're in the forest now, so it's trying to get a spot to get the tent. So there is some a very flat bit. We should just literally off the path that we come up. Um, but it'd be, I suppose it'd be better if we can't tip it out of the way. Not that there's like there's going to be anyone up here anyway. Like, uh, so we'll get the tents pitched and get some food on the go.
It's 20 to 4. Tents are pitched. And they're getting the, the food on the go. I've got my down jacket on because it's, uh, it's not mega cold, it's quite mild. Probably about 3 or 4 degrees or something as it starts to snow again. Um, so we're both going to get some food on the go and keep warm. Get my thermals on as well. As it starts to snow proper. Oh dear. Time for shelter. This is Fellside Beef Chili Con Carne. Mm. Alex's Wild Camping Kitchen.com. Sponsored by Chris's Wild Camping.com. Fellside beef chili con carne. Absolutely delicious. Here at Alex's wildcamping.com. It is eight o'clock. The porridge you can see there is ready to eat. Also a cup of tea. Bacon it's bacon flavoured porridge. Courtesy of Chris's wildcamping.com. Obviously I've got a bit of spare water. I've got some milk on loan from Chris, which is gonna go in the brew. So I'm gonna enjoy the breakfast. As you can see outside, it's starting to get light. And again, we had a bit of snow overnight. Not a great deal, but it's just topped it up again. So we'll enjoy the, the winter walk back down to the car later on. Goodbye. on camera that <laughs> that's on camera that <laughs> 